hillside as Jesus rose up in the clouds the words he spoke came flooding back to some young men in the crowd promotions right here on the WOTG radio network and we are in Sweetwater, Tennessee. This is a faith broadcast sponsored by you, the listener. Without you, we could not do a program like this. So if you like this kind of program, 
that we are reaching out and helping the children that have been put in a nursing home and uh, nursing home is uh, working for or helping them out. And folks, we're glad the, for what our program is doing. We're reaching the children and we're reaching each other. We're glad to be on board tonight and we're going to have a good time. And if you like a program like this, send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's our mail address again, Alan Presley, 611 Ohioway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. And we're glad to be here, folks, and we're going to have a good time. And you out there on Facebook, please share our program. Hit that share button that others might hear these songs and hear about what God is doing. We're looking forward to having a good time on Friday night. And night is usually Friday night unless we have a guest. And we have guests as we don't usually do that. This is popcorn night. And we having popcorn night and I'm having Dr. Pepper. So we, we're going to have a good time. And I hope you people got you some popcorn build up too. So let's get on with the program tonight right here on Alan Presley Promotions. Here we go. And we got Danny Thunderbolt coming up. I heard from Brother Danny this afternoon, and he sent me uh, some more songs, and this is one of them that he has sent me. Tell me about that home. Let's take a listen. And 
Danny Funderburg. His hold on me Condemned to die No question that I was Guilty as could be Then the judge Declared my guilt would last Forever and a day Till Jesus raised his hands And prayed let mercy Take his place Well the news is out And the verdict's in I'm then forgiven by the blood set free from sin. I will no longer be a prisoner of Satan's fall and chain. The news is out, the verdict's in, my soul's been saved. Satan tries to track me down Like a fugitive from some past sin You won't forget about But his evidence can hold me When I take him back to face That day that he remembered well That day my past man cried Well the news is out I'm then forgiven by the blood set free from sin. I will no longer be a prisoner to Satan's fall and chain. The news is out, the verdict's in, my soul's been saved. I will no longer be a prisoner to Satan's fall and chain. The news is out, the verdict's in, my soul's been saved, been saved. Yeah, the news is out, the news is out, and the verdict's in. Satan's born and changed, the news is out, the verdict's in, my soul's been saved. I will no longer be a prisoner, for Satan's born and changed. The news is out, the verdict's in, my soul's been saved. And those last two songs was by Danny Funderburk, and we glad to be friends with Brother Danny, and he told me this afternoon he's going to try his best to get on our program tonight and listening, and we are on the WOTG Radio Network, and we are in Sweetwater, Tennessee, and tonight is pop Dr. Pepper night. I got a Dr. Pepper in here. I got me some popcorn. And that is Popcorn Night on Friday night on Alan Presley Promotion. And we're listening to Southern Gospel Music. And folks, hit that share button and get as many people as we can on the program tonight. Because we're going to have a great time. This is a program that brings you the unreal. We even have live groups that come in here. This week we've had two live groups and we got some more. That's coming soon to be on Alan Presley Promotions Live. We're striving and trying to bring you the very best in Southern Gospel music, even with live groups on our program. Hey, we got a song coming up right now by Squire Parson. And we're going to send this song out. Now, if you people that are on Facebook, you will see an ad running across the Facebook in quite a different uh, places. And you'll see an ad, 
And if you look right in the center of that ad, you'll see a, 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 a statement, I don't give up. And we took that from the song of Squire Parson, I don't give up. And folks, we are not going to be, give up. And we pull, we got some pictures on over there of some of our staff that helps us on Allen Presley Promotions. Our determination is, is to never give in to the devil. And we're always going to stand up for the Lord. We'd like to send this song out to Jimmy and Betty Putman. We'd like to send it out to Elizabeth Lawson over in North Ireland. We'd like to send it out to Linda Presley and Alan Presley. Hey, that's me. Hey, hey folks, we're glad to be here. And we are determined we'll never give up. We don't, we don't believe in surrendering to the devil and the fangs of the devil. We always determined to keep pressing on for God. And here's Squire Parsons singing that song, I'm Not Giving Up. Go! Cool. 
describe its beauty as upon the spirit it moves. Matchless in its glory, the tender little rose, but when its petals are broken, its greatest beauty it shows far more sweeter.
And you are listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network, Sweetwater, Tennessee. And folks, I'm going to share something with you. You know, we in the ministry of helping the children. And one of my uh, workers on the board, he's a administrator on Alan Presley Promotions. And he's a, he, he's a administrator on this program. And he's got just about as much to say about this program as old Alan Presley's got. And that is Jimmy Putman, the one that got the kidney. And he is a doing better right now. And he, the doctor has put approval on him and said he's doing great, eating anything that he got. I told him today that Jimmy Putman is going to start looking like Alan Presley. Man in size and sorry. everything. What, Lady Presley? I feel sorry for him. You feel sorry for him? Yeah, he, he going to get his picture with me, and he won't be able to tell us apart. He's going to start looking like me. I mean, he's eating that food. He don't only eat it. He's in hell on it now. Can you blame him? After so long a time, not having much to eat, but now they have turned him loose and letting him eat. And I'm going to share something with you. Jimmy Putman come up with this idea of us raising money for the children. And he wants us to honor the children and try to help these, those children that are in need. And they need help, folks. And, uh, and uh, you know, they, that's a big responsibility. And, and by the way, they're needing house parents, too. If you like to think you might qualify for a house parent, you can let Alan Presley know, but you must, if you got children, you can still be a house parent, but you must have two boys, that's the requirement, or two girls. Is that no. right, Lady Presley? No, that's not right. What is it? They must have all boys or all girls. Now, they don't have to stop it, too. They can have 10 kids, but they all have to be boys or they all have to be girls. Oh, Okay. And, and if you think you might qualify, like to be a house parent, hey, give us a call. We can put you in contact. And they got different types of ministry there. It's a beautiful place where they're located. You see how you know Alan? Alan's been there a lot of times over the years. I've directed youth camps up there and everything. And, and, and it, it's a great place. And Lizzie G loves the children too. Lizzie G. even sent 45 CDs, five different CDs, brand new CDs. We've had uh, one person that sent a, a considerable donation in for the children, and she got all of these CDs. And plus, the Gospel Hearts is offered another CD, which is a total of six CDs, plus uh, two necklaces and two rings. And uh, I and, believe you uh, said something about a makeup case too, or something, did Linda? Makeup bag. Makeup bag. And you get all of that. But if you just want one CD, make a donation of $14, <coughs> and still get everything that the Gospel Hearts is offering. Or you can make one donation, and we don't set no amount on the donation, but if you make a larger donation, we can send you all six CDs, plus the Gospel Hearts CD, and plus their two rings, two necklaces, and a makeup bag. And folks, you can't even beat that at Walmart. So how about let's help Brother Jimmy Putman out and help us raise some money for these children. Uh, if you'd like to call and tell us, you can do that at 423-271-6247. Four two three two seven one six two four seven. Two seven one six two four seven, and folks, we're so glad to be here on Alan Presley Promotions tonight. Man, we we've had a good time, boy. Didn't we have a good time yesterday, last night, with the uh, Four Toe Trio? Had a good time this week with uh, For Him. And by the way, in the next couple of weeks, For Him is going to come back, and not for long. The uh, Four Toad is coming back. And I think we got some more lined up eventually coming back. I think Murray Burke's going to come back. And I think she's scheduled somewhere in the list, somewhere. And, man, I tell you what, 
and Roger Horn's going to be a guest on the program on August the 23rd. Elton Wright, we fixing to put him back on. And man, I tell you what, we, we got a good, we having a great time. And the thing is, the Lord is smiling on our program, folks. We know he is. And we're going to get on with the program tonight. And I don't know who we got singing next. Who's singing, Lady Presley? Jimmy Putman. Yeah. And this is a guy that helped start the children's ministry. So let's help Brother Jimmy out. Make these children happy. And he's going to be saying, Jesus, polish my ship. Take a listen. for Jimmy Putman. Hallelujah, I'm free. Thank God you let me wait. 
lay down. I'm gonna lay down with this heavy load. Just by and by. by and by. Just by and by. by, and by. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna lay down with this heavy, heavy load. load. Now when I get to heaven, I'm gonna sit right down. Yeah, go. 
listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network. And we are in Sweetwater, Tennessee on this Friday night. And folks, I want to come on here and tell you, we got Roger Horn coming up to sing next. And Roger Horn, he used to sing with the Cathedrals, the Scenic Land Boys, and the Gospel Harmony Boys. And he is scheduled to be on Alan Presley Promotions August the 23rd. And man, I tell you what, it's an honor to have some of these older people that used to sing, and, and they still sing, and sing good as they ever did. They've got older like me, but they, uh, they have been to the top of the mountain. They know what it's about of living for God. We're proud to have Roger Horn. We, it was a great honor being with him and Elton Wright last Saturday. And we're looking forward to having him on the program again. That's two old cathedrals. that Not really old, but we've had two of the formal cathedral quartet men on Alan Presley Promotion, Danny Funderburg and Roger Horn. And what an honor that is. And we it tickles us to death. Now we're going to get on with the program. Lady Presley, you got anything you'd like to say tonight? No, right now. Okay, she said not right now. Here we go, Roger Horn, and take a listen. What a great songwriter he is, man. Him and Squire Parson probably host the most number one songs. And we will be getting the Statesman Quartet up here in a little bit. And we're going to play Hovey Lester in one song that they have sung for him. Here we go, take a listen. Everything does change. You'll 
because I'm a new priest. Remains the same.
holy name, the name of Jesus. Reaching higher, reaching higher far than the brightest than the brightest star. Sweet, sweeter than the songs they sing in heaven. Let the world proclaim. Than the brightest star, sweet, sweeter than the songs they sing in heaven. Let the world proclaim, Let the world proclaim, evermore the same, always be the same. What a lovely name. <laughs> We're glad to be here on the WOTG Radio Network, and we're having a good time, and it is a lovely name. There's nothing like Jesus' name, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Our world is in a bad shape, we're going to have prayer in a minute, but our world is in bad shape. Our countries are in bad shape, and it's a sad thing. You know, we as Christians are supposed to be as one. Our goal is heaven. But you know what? We live in a bad time in our time now that we have become a bad example to God. We have become a bad example to the world. We become a bad testimony to the world because our lives is so fouled up and everybody wants their own way rather than God's way. What is God's way? God's way is the Bible and studying the Bible. We prefer the King James Version. We've seen what that's done over the years. People been saved, people been born again, and it's put churches together and built churches. But we're living in a bad time. Whenever, especially here in America, I know what it's like here in America, our churches will not work together. They will not cooperate together. I remember one time having a great friend, a great singer, good as anybody that's on the road, and he lives what he sang, is Kevin Spencer. He was scheduled to sing in one church. I asked one church just within a fourth of a mile down the road from that church, they, their church was 30 minutes earlier on a Sunday night. And I asked them about bringing their church down, and they can have a little prayer and Bible, short Bible study and come down. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. You know, and, 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 they, and they wouldn't back it. You know, but in the Bible, I don't see no domination like Church of God over there. I don't see, like, I don't see no Baptists over there except one Baptist. You say, where you get that? John the Baptist. And I've seen, you know, I, 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 there's the Nazarene church, a good church. And and all these churches, different churches, different kinds of Baptists like eating candy bars and drinking Cokes and drinking Dr. Peppers, drinking Orange Crust, drinking Pepsi, all kinds of favors different flavors in a world of different churches that are out there. But you know what? We will not lift our hand to help one another. And we're supposed to be helping one another, and we're supposed to be encouraging one another and lifting one another up. I can remember as I grew up my younger days, I attended a Free Will Baptist church. I preached in a Free Will Baptist church. I pastored in a Free Will Baptist churches. I remember in my home church, when we had a revival, the next church just about a fourth of a mile apart from us 
was at United Methodist Church. They called their prayer meeting off and their church off to come and help us in revival. So did the other churches around the area. And, and then uh, when they had a revival, we took our prayer meeting and church over to help them out on Wednesday night. Everybody was working together and everybody was pulling together. Well, what's happened to us? We become different. We become a dividing fence and we fuss against each other and we complain and we criticize each other. But I guarantee you folks, I promise you, I will not back down. They not gonna be no group over there calling herself Free Will Baptist. They not gonna be no group over there calling herself Southern Baptist. They not gonna be no group over there causing her uh, self the Nazarene Church. They not gonna be the Church of God over there. We gonna be as one. We're going to be as one big family if you make it there. No wonder God said judgment must begin at the house of God. Our churches have come so bad that they have become corrupt in our world. You say you awful truthful. I'm plain truthful. And I will not back down when the truth is the truth. We have become a backslidden nation on God. Is America a God-fearing nation? No. No. It might have went at one time, but it's not no more. We can't even cooperate one with another. We can't even get along with the another. And it's like Elton Wright says, I hope Lady Presley finds that for me in a few minutes. You know what the problem is? It's be plain. I've been a pastor. I've been a preacher. It's because we scared to stand in the pulpits of America and our world and preach the truth like it ought to be. Hey, Alan. What, Lady Presley? I was reading today. Uh, put it over here where they can hear you. I was reading today on Facebook. No, not on Facebook. On the news. And our college at Nashville is banning somebody from the college. A girl, they're banning her from the college. And you know, in the Bible, when God created the earth and everything on the earth, and then he created male and female, and he meant for it to stay that way. He meant for a male to say a male and a female to say a female. But that's the reason they are banning her from the college because she didn't want to be a girl anymore. And to beat it all, her, her parents are missionaries. Free Will Baptist missionaries. And she didn't even tell her parents she didn't tell nobody that she was having the surgery. And it, it's on uh, uh, on the news. I read it today. It's so sad. No they, they want everybody to pray for that girl. And In God's a, sight, she's still a girl. Amen. That's right. In God's sight, she's still a girl. <coughs> no wonder our nation has become corrupt. We so far away from God that we stink in God's nostrils. You see, I don't need truthful. I'm going to be truthful. You say, well, Alan, what about your life? I ain't worried about my life. My life is in the hands of God, and I'm on my way to heaven. I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to tell you very plain. Alan Presley is getting more support and more help from other countries, and I am the United States of America, and that's sad. Yes, that's sad, but it's the truth. And the truth will stand when the worlds are burning up. We are so far from God that a lot of people anymore does not even want to go to a church because you go to church, the pastor will, won't even speak to some of the people because he dreads you being there. 
And if you go into another church, the pastor's scared to, to take leadership of the church, which that's his job, and he will answer to God if he don't because he's a shepherd of the flock. Why? Because he's scared of the deacons. I mean, the, the deacon board, what they call it. And they dictate to him. If it's not that, I have even called a lot of churches and talked to them. Let me ask my music director. I had never read in my Bible that the music director is the shepherd of the flock. We are so fouled up in our churches that become fouled up that we won't work well enough now. We won't even cooperate. But I promise you, it will not be like that in heaven. You either work together and pull together, or you live a mess heaven, pure it. And you know where the other place is, and there is no between. Hey, folks, I just feel like saying that, but we're going to have prayer. We're in bad shape. We need a revival. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. God, I thank you, Lord, for everything. And God, we realize that you said that judgment must begin in the house of God, and it must begin God. And God, we understand what you said in Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, you didn't say if the sinners. In other words, you about said, if my hypocrites would call upon my name and humble my, themselves, that we would hear from heaven, and I will heal their land and their diseases. God, our churches and our people, your people, must repent and turn back to God. The only way revival will come has got to come but through your people. There's no other way. The Baptist is not going to get us there. None of the Southern Baptists, the Free Will Baptists, the Church of God, the Nazarene, Church of Christ, a, a primitive, or whatever it may be, that's not going to get us there. I never read in your word where you said, I am the way, I am the way, the Baptist way, the Church of God way, any other way. You said, Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In John chapter 14 and verse 6, you're the only way. And when we try to climb up God some other way, we are the same as a thief and a robber. And God, we're all guilty. We're just like the bank robber trying to steal and try to make the heaven another way, and it's not going to happen. God, we love you. We care for you. We need a revival, God, but it's going to depend on your people. You're not going to force it upon us. You're not going to force us. You're not going to take us by the neck and choke us until we are dead. But God, we need revival. We need repenting. Our churches need to turn back to God. Our pastors need to turn to God. Our leaders need to turn to God. I pray for those out there tonight that may be listening under the sound of their voice, God, that they'll turn from their wicked ways and give their heart and life to you. Because, Lord, you are coming. You are coming, and you're going to close this country down, this world down. Or, or is everybody ready to meet him? God, I pray for salvation tonight. Lord, we pray that night to our medicine is not a Christian, that tonight be the night they give their heart and life to you. In Christ's name we pray, amen. We're going to get on with some great gospel music, the rest of our program. And folks, hit the share button out there on Facebook. Let's share the truth. And we got that group called Exodus coming up. Shelter in the arms of God. Are you shelter in his arms? Here we go, Lady Presley. Are you ready? Take a listen, folks. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. 
my mind studied and wondered how America went from days of power and glory to its present condition of evil living and squander. When and how did our forefathers dream of liberty and freedom turn into such a despicable excuse of an example of a godly nation? I studied and after much prayer and many tears had I cried I understood and knew when and where O oh glory died No, it wasn't in 63 when one person got prayer taken out of school Nor was it in 73 when the Supreme Court said abortion was cool it wasn't when Johnson's war on poverty turned work into a dirty word. It wasn't paying unwed women to have babies for an extra check or card. It wasn't when the highest official in the land said, it all depends on what the word is means. She stood by his side. These are only symptoms of a much bigger thing. The day old glory died. Much like the doctor who gives you a pill to take care of your pain. The side effects come, you've got more pills and docs money gains. Politicians, judges, and lawyers of all parties have made a fortune while we the people ante up and are forced to pay for corruption. But the root cause of all the shame, evil, and to fall into Satan's grip on any given Sunday in all his doctrinal glory stands behind the pulpit. According to God's holy word, there's the reason old glory died. Amen. He proclaims we must be more accepting. Don't make anyone cry because there's really no hell. Perverted lifestyles, murderers, liars, or sin. Jesus' blood covers it all. Just bring your money, put it in the tin, and then tomorrow, go out and do it all over again. Preachers have ceased preaching the truth and to their calling lied. This, my fellow American, is the reason and the day old oh, glory died.
Bloomberg coming up. Take a listen to Danny. There they stand, all dressed in blue, to protect Dang it, bro, and Danny. to serve. The shield to their hearts so close Cause they made themselves a promise When they took the oath The sun will never see The sacrifice they made The sun will never know We will never know their name
And you have been listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network. And we are in Sweetwater, Tennessee. And man, we've been having a great time here on the program tonight. And this is a faith broadcast. It's sponsored by you, the listener. Folks, without you, we couldn't possibly do a program like this. But with you, we are doing it. And because God is making the way through you. And we are in the ministry of even helping the children. And we're trying to help the children and trying to help uh, support them that they can raise them up and train them and teach them the ways of God. And if you like being a program like this and being part of a program where we are trying to reach not only that, we are reaching around the world. We've been heard in Brazil. We've been heard even in Russia. We've been heard in the Philippines. We've been heard in Canada. And we've been heard in a lot of different places. And we are trying to teach and share the story of Jesus. If you like being part of a program like that, send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio Way 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's the address again, Alan Presley, 611 Ohio Way 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. And folks, if you've never been here, you ought to be here. If you'd ask anybody that's been here and playing gospel music, you just don't walk in here and play gospel music. It's not that easy. It's not that simple. There's a lot of hours behind it. We never, ever get in bed to go in a clock and Lady Presley some up sometimes 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock working on this program. A lot of music to download. A lot of things to do. A lot of people to uh, get back and answer questions to. We stay behind most of the time. It is a big job downloading music, sharing the music, and then, folks, keeping the equipment up and keeping it going. But praise God, he's making the way. But we can always use your help, and God can use it. So help us out if you can, folks. We appreciate that. We appreciate those that are helping us time after time. We're going to finish the program out with some songs. we got the McCamies coming up. Then we've got a request for the Cloud Indian family, one of the oldest groups out there still singing and doing things for God. They sung when they didn't even have singings in a building. They sung on the street corners. And we will be hearing them right after the McCamies. Take a listen. When you're up on the mountain And you've got peace of mind Like you've never known But then things change and You're down in the valley Don't lose faith
see. That's when faith is really put to the test. work and I love to tell other people about him so that we all can go to this place to see the one that Peg's talking about. He's God on the mountain. I love him tonight. I love him when I'm in the valley and I love him when I'm on the mountain. I want to sing this song, I'll Dare to Be Different. And you know, as Peg has said, we were preacher's kids and we always had to be different because we were preacher's kids. We were watched and and uh, people just expected more out of us. But I, when I was saved, I was different. Something was different about me. I wanted to be different. And I'm glad that I'm saved. And I'm glad I'm different. And I'm going to stand for Jesus no matter what. I love his name. I'll dare to be I'm going to keep on singing. I'm going to keep on shouting. Lifting my voice and let the world know that Jesus saved. I'm gonna keep on singing. I'm gonna keep on shouting. I'm gonna keep on lifting my voice and let the world know that Jesus saved. I'm gonna keep on singing. I'm gonna keep on shouting. I'm gonna keep on lifting my voice and let the world know that Jesus saved. Everybody's got to know Jesus really saved. Oh, 
Wrestling Promotions right here on the WOCG Radio Network. I once heard a story of a sainted old mother who had lived out her life here on earth. You're not a Christian. Why don't you give your life to God tonight? Turn it all over to the Lord and give your life to Jesus tonight. You can do it, folks. Or you can give us a call. We'll help you. I'm going to have a mansion one day. To that paradise together. Give your heart to God tonight. He's preparing that home for you if you get right with him. They can wait, be waiting for you. Were so feeble and her voice was so low, but she still had a smile on her face. She said, I hear singing and they're waiting for me as she looked toward heaven and said, Oh, look what I'm trading for a mansion. Look what I'm going to give away. This old sin curse for a mansion. Look who's going to be our degree, baby. Leave behind all my sorrows and my troubles. No more trouble. Come for you, 
closeness, so long, just as close as you can. I know I'm redeemed. Do you know you're redeemed? Jesus went to Calvary for you. I've faltered and I've failed his will to see.
And folks, we'd like to get one more song by Heaven's Gate, and we send this out to Jimmy Putman. Folks, we're glad to be here tonight, and Lady Presley's got something she's wanting to say. Lady Presley. Uh, oh, okay. I'll get you now. Uh, we want to thank everyone for uh, listening to our program tonight, and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we got to stay on a little bit longer tonight because we did it on the tablet, and we don't have to get off at 10 on the tablet, so we're... we're uh, glad you uh, joined us and be with us again tomorrow night. Same time, same station. Uh, she get worse. She gonna be a regular DJ. I'm gonna take a day off and just my, let Lady Presley have it. My brain don't work fast enough to do a DJ. But we are glad to be here tonight. We'll be back tomorrow night and tune us in. And I hope that you shared the program tonight. Hey, we'd like to have a. Uh, get everybody to listen. We are here for one reason, and that's to serve God. Thank you, and God bless you. We love every one of you. Have a great night, and tomorrow is Saturday.
Well, wouldn't it be great if somebody would take me out to lunch? Somebody eat Burger King hamburgers and all that stuff and send me a picture of all this, and then I don't even get one little bite. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, Linda, before I get in trouble. Yeah, you will get in trouble. Good night, folks. See you tomorrow night, same time, same station, on the WOTG Radio Network.